Hello everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 1, week 7. Today, we are going to create a presentation using hyperlinks and action buttons. Now for our short review. 1. What are the 7 rules in creating a presentation? 2. What is a master slide? 3. What is the function of motion paths? 4. What is the importance of the animation pane? But before we proceed to our lesson, let us watch a short video and I have some questions to ask you. So this is inside a PowerPoint presentation. Look, when I click this text, it opens another document. See? It takes me to a new document. It's like a magic. Now let's try to click this start or play button. It opens a browser and takes me to this designated link. Now let's try to click this text. Then it enables me to jump from one slide to the last without following the order of the slides. Let's try again from the start, let's see what happens. Now let me ask you questions. 1. What did you notice in the presentation? 2. What particular feature is in the presentation that enables a user to jump from one slide to another without following the order of the slides? 3. Do you find this feature helpful in achieving an effective presentation? Today, we'll learn how to make our presentations more interactive using hyperlinks and action buttons. Think of these tools as ways to guide your audience through your story allowing them to explore different parts of your presentation seamlessly. Whenever you use the internet, you use hyperlinks to get from one web page to another. To make it easier for people to click on a web URL or email address you offer in your PowerPoint presentation, you may format it as a hyperlink. It is also possible to link to files and other slides within a presentation. You can link to a web page, or to a new document or a place in an existing document. At the end of this lesson, you shall be able to use hyperlink command in order to link a slide to files and other slides within a presentation, and also link to a web page, a new document or existing document or an email address. And now for our guided practice. We are going to link text from our presentation to a website. So let's do this. So first, we have to find the presentation icon and click it then let's click this one as our practice presentation and click open now select the slide where you would like to insert a hyperlink i choose slide 2 then select the text shape or picture that you want to use as a hyperlink to make it active then i choose this text here go to insert tab from the ribbon and from the links group, click link. The insert hyperlink dialog box will appear. Select existing file or web page. You can enter the text to display. For me, I'll simply leave it as access. Next, let's locate a web page address to link to the specific text in our presentation. Then let's click this one. And let's copy this link. Right click then select copy. Next, let us go to our presentation. Then let's paste it in the address the copied link to this hyperlink dialog box. Right click then paste. Then, just click OK. As you can see, access is highlighted as a hyperlink. Now, let's test it. First, click on the slideshow button. Then, click on the hyperlink text access. And it directs us to the linked web page. Now let's try to link our slide to a place in a document, new document, or email address. First, select the text, shape, or picture that you want to use as a hyperlink to make it active. I just highlight this quick access commands text here. 
Then right click. And on the drop down menu click hyperlinked. Then let's link this to a specific file. Click web page or file. So you see the text to display in the dialog box is just quick access commands which I have just highlighted. On the address, just click select. Then open this document we want to link to our presentation. Then click open. And now just click OK. Then let's test it. And click this slideshow button below. Then click this text. So you see it takes us to the linked document. Next we have to link this slide to the specific slide in this document. For example, we highlight this text. And right click. And choose hyperlink. And in the hyperlink dialog box, click this document. Then click this arrow beside slide titles. Then for example let's select this seventh slide. Then click OK. Now let's test it. And then click the slideshow button below. Then click this highlighted text we have just linked to our slide. As you can see, it takes us to the seventh slide that we just hyperlinked. Now let's try to link our presentation to my email address. Let's try to use this image here. Then right click. Then click hyperlink. Then click email address. The text to display is just selection document. Just leave it like that. Write the email address you want to send this presentation. And click OK. So let's try it. Then click the slideshow button. Let's click this image. Then you see it takes us to the email address program we want to send this presentation. You can write subject and whatever there. To change the color of a hyperlink. Most hyperlink color is blue, but you can change the color if you like. First, select the hyperlink text that you want to recolor. So let's highlight this text. And on the home tab of the ribbon, select down arrow next to the font color button to open the menu of colors. Then select the color you want for the hyperlink. For me I clicked green. And you see the color of the hyperlink text have changed to green. Now to test the hyperlink. Once you are done inserting the link, you can test it in normal view by right clicking the hyperlink and selecting open link. Click edit hyperlink. Or you can remove hyperlink in this slide. And if you want to change the hyperlink text to other slide you can select slide here. Then click OK. And highlight this hyperlink text and right click. And click open hyperlink. You see it changes the slide that we have just hyperlinked to. Now let's proceed to creating action button in our presentation. PowerPoint presentation can be made more interactive and user-friendly for the audience by adding action buttons to the slides. These buttons can make the presentation easier to browse and give the impression that the slides are websites. Think carefully about how your audience will use your PowerPoint presentation before adding action buttons. Should the action buttons take up a large amount of space at the bottom or side of the slides, or should they be clearly visible? How will the buttons be used by the audience? And will using action buttons for navigation simply make the point of your presentation clearer? After you have the answers to these questions, you may incorporate action buttons into your presentation with the confidence that the viewer will benefit rather than become confused. Now let's try adding action button in our presentation. Now to add action button, select the slide where you would like to insert the action button. For example I'm going to select slide 3 of our presentation. Then go to the insert tab from the ribbon and select the shapes drop down arrow. Now scroll down to the bottom. At the bottom of the list, you will see the options for action buttons. Select the one that best matches the action you want to perform. For me, I prefer to use this. Now the cursor changes to a crosshair symbol. Then let us drag this and draw the shape to this slide. And in the action settings, there's a mouse click tab that assign an action for when you click the button. 
Also, there's the mouse over tab to assign an action for when you hover your cursor over it. We can use this to hyperlink to, or run a program, or run a macro if you have a macros in your presentation. This slide doesn't have macros so this is on the gray mode. There is an object action, but we do not have an OLE object, so it remains grayed out. Let's select run program this time. For example, let's select this book program. Click it and open. You can play sound on it. For example, let's put sound and choose this sound. I choose hammer. Then OK. Then let's try to test it and click the slideshow button at the bottom menu. Now let's click this action button. Then there's a sound of a hammer in our presentation. Click yes on this prompt. As you can see, it opens the program where we have integrated the action button into the book program. If you want to edit the action, select the button, and right click it, and select hyperlink, and you can edit it whatever you want. That's all for today, thank you for tuning in.